Hello everybody, welcome back. And sorry if there's a bit of an echo in here, all of the rooms are like mega echoey at the moment because nothing is where it should be. Moving week is coming in fast. And honestly, I cannot wait just to like have some order. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have a whole, whole house thing going on at the moment. I will link a playlist with vlogs and stuff like that. But today is the start of a new what I wore in a week. I have a couple of new pieces that I wanna show you quickly before we get into it. And then I'll show you today's outfit. It is a weekend, so I'm just chilling at home, but my parents are popping over later. So I wanted to wear something that looked like pulled together, but really comfy and easy for doing all of my like housework and bits like that. And it's also quite warm and humid at the moment. So this is like, the dream dress. I bought it recently from H&M. I have a couple of other bits to show you from H&M as well. And I just love this. This has been like the star of the show for me this summer. It's just such an easy piece to throw on. And I feel like so many of you are going to love it as well. Hopefully it's still in stock by the time this video goes live. But I thought I would show you quickly what I've picked up lately. And you'll see some of these bits throughout the vlog. We actually go to Farmhouse tomorrow, which I am looking forward to so much. It's Brian's kind of birthday trip, slightly belated, but we honestly cannot wait. And um, we're taking Nala with us as well. So it's gonna be super lovely. So yeah, just packing like some really lovely, kind of like really gorgeous, but like chill outfits, like very comfy, but like look really nice. I'm really looking forward to that. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the bits from H&M first. And then I also have some bits from Mango to show you. Here she is. Okay, so I actually picked up quite a few bits, but there are some that I'm going to send back and I'm not going to show you everything because I'm just not going to, I'm not going to try on the pieces that aren't right. Basically, I ordered quite a lot of knitwear because <laughs> one, this summer in the UK has not been it, but two, my house is really cold. Like it's mad when you go up the stairs, I'm like, oh, oh, this is, this is the heat that the rest of the UK talks about. But I have just been on one level for like three years and this house gets really cold on the ground floor because it's on concrete as well. So this summer in particular, I have been freezing. So I did do a little knitwear order. I'm not gonna show you the bits that aren't right. Some of them came and they were just super oversized. And I just wasn't really expecting that. And I wanted stuff that was more fitted. So I think I'm gonna swap bits out for smaller sizes. And I'll show you that in a kind of like transitional autumn winter video. But I did have a couple of bits that I wanted to keep. This is the main thing that I went on to H&M for. It's this cardigan, which I'd seen a lot of girls that I follow wearing, and it just looks so nice. It is, it's kind of rough. It's like a rough material. I'm not even sure what it is. It doesn't even feel like, I'm assuming it's raw cotton, but it's not. 75% recycled polyester. I'm hoping it's not gonna be uncomfortable to wear it because it's like, scratchy but not in a normal scratchy knitwear kind of way but it looks really lovely and i just thought this over a pair of jeans is just like a perfect little combo but also with shorts in this kind of like weird in between summer weather would just be so nice and i do have a jacket like this from reese but it's double buttoned on each side and it's just a bit too dressy so i thought this would be perfect when i want that kind of look but i don't want it to look as dressy as my jacket does and then also it's just nice because it's a cardigan so just a little bit less structured a little bit less bulky so hopefully we get some wear out of this this week although the weather has started like really warming up so i feel like <laughs> i'm gonna have to save these for some really cold days i also picked up this jumper i just couldn't resist like this is so unseasonal but i could not resist it i really like this i'm thinking i need it in other colors it's so nice i actually i have a couple of stripy jumpers already but i loved the color of this one it's like a minky toned beige and i really like that i think that suits me a lot more like a lot of the time the beigey tones they come and they're kind of like yellowy and quite warm or like very very creamy and that just doesn't always suit me whereas i thought this would be lovely again with like a black pair of shorts or black skinny jeans as we go into autumn winter but for now like a black skirt or a black pair of shorts would just be so nice even like my silky midi skirt or i have like a tailored long maxi skirt in a kind of like work trouser material like what is that material i don't even know i have a very long maxi skirt which i actually was going to wear that to farmhouse tomorrow so you'll probably see that tomorrow but yeah you will probably see me getting a little bit of wear out of this in this crazy summer weather i just think it's so cute i love it i also think it would just be really nice like thrown over my shoulders even with something like this just really lovely and i like the fact that it's like i'm really loving that i got this before i got my new dior bag and i'm clearly loving like nude and black at the moment which is a combo that i just never really have ever worn before but clearly loving that vibe yeah like 
just really loving that at the moment. Really excited to wear this. I'm not really excited for the weather that is appropriate for this, but excited to wear it. And then, as I said, I also picked up a couple of bits from Mango as well. I am so excited about one. I can't get so open. I'm so excited about one set from this order in particular. Like everything is nice, but this in particular. Oh. So I have these knitted trousers which I think I'm probably gonna need to take up, which is a little bit annoying. I clearly was feeling very brave when I made this order. And then I also have the matching little like knitted waistcoat. And I just love these because I could see them being worn together, but also separately as well. Like I'm really excited to wear this with like a pair of white linen trousers or white like tailored trousers. I think it would look so beautiful. And then equally it would look lovely with the knitted trousers. And then the knitted trousers, I think would also just look really nice with like a plain kind of like Zara vest top, just something super simple worn around the house. So excited to wear those. And then I also picked up a black knitted vest top waistcoat thing. Really loving this kind of vibe at the moment, apparently. I'm not sure what's come over me. I just saw them. I actually went on to Mango to get a belt and that was when everything kind of spiraled slightly. But I mean, I haven't done the most shopping this summer compared to other summers. So and all of these are very timeless. So I feel like this, this is okay. I picked up a brown belt because I actually don't currently have one I've got this one i really like the kind of like double i don't know what this is called but the clasp detailing on this one it will look like this when it's on i just think it's so nice like a little bit this kind of makes it more modern but this is kind of a very old school like belt style and i really like that so hopefully that's gonna fit this is more of a slightly lower on the waist than a high waisted belt for me but i thought it would be really gorgeous with this i wore this when i went to london the other day and i put it on tiktok and you guys loved it it's a zara scort from last summer and i wore it a couple of times in ibiza last summer but i really didn't get too much wear out of it other than that but it's got belt loops and i thought it would just look so gorgeous with a brown belt. I'm not really sure what I want to wear on the top half, but I just thought this would be so nice. So really excited to style that up this week. I actually think that could look really good as well with the waistcoat, with the brown knitted waistcoat. So we will see how I get on with that. If you don't see it, it's because it didn't look good and I did not vibe with it. And then I also picked up some earrings as well. These are like silver dangly earrings these are basically they looked to me on the mango website like the more affordable versions of the heart earrings that were in my last what i wore in a week that i didn't buy but it was something that my friend carla who's a personal stylist she like styled me for this whole what i wore in a week sadly she's not styling this one i wish it just made my life so so easy like i wish she could just style me every day for the rest of my life it would be so great but she recommended these earrings i'll pop a little photo of them on screen actually i'll pop the whole mood board on on screen because this will definitely inspire another outfit later on in this video so just so you know the reference this is it i love those earrings and i just wasn't sure whether i wanted to take the plunge and buy them but i have not stopped thinking about them so i thought i'd get these and see how i get on with them i'll try them on with the outfit in question and we'll see We'll see. I thought it might be good to test these out first and see how I get on with them before taking the plunge. So that is everything that I picked up this week. So keep on watching if you want to see all of these pieces styled up. I'm so excited to style all of them up. Like you can tell that we're kind of in that like lazy end of summer period when I start cracking out something that's like knitted. The knitted sets that that is peak like I am mentally preparing myself for autumn even though we're nowhere near there yet we've still got september to go which is still kind of warm around these parts so we've got a while but you can tell i'm already like mentally mulling it over in my brain for you guys the styling content i'm i'm so excited for it i love like summer to autumn is my jam those are my favorite outfits to put together but anyway i'm going to show you what i'm wearing today now so outfit of the day this is the h&m dress i can't remember if i've shown you this already in a vlog but yeah i absolutely love this one it's button down like all the way this is super easy to slip into and slip out of it's just been a go-to for me especially today i'm not actually feeling too great i've got a bit of a headache just don't feel like i look right today the makeup has not gone well so this is just one of those safety blanket outfits for me i absolutely love it and i just always know that i'll feel good in it so i have been slipping into this a lot this summer so far and i probably will continue to well into like that transitional 
summer to autumn period as well. I always like to pair it with my Edge of Ember Gaia necklace. This has just become a staple for me on a daily basis, but I think with a neckline like this as well, it just always works really beautifully. My earrings, I think are from, I am not sure, but I will link something similar. I think this might be an amalgamation of two different brands, if I'm right, or maybe it was Sammy Maria's brand. Honestly, I, I cannot remember. I'll try and find them and link them for you guys. And then I've just got one singular Astrid and Miu wave ring on, just very, very simple today. My Celine Triumph Sunnies. These are just such a classic. I love these. I remember when I first got these, I was like, oh my God, are these are these cute? I feel like Willy Wonka. I don't know if I'll ever wear these. And then literally five minutes later, I was like, these are the best sunnies on the planet. And then for shoes, I'm just wearing my Chanel slides just because it's really easy to like nip in and out of the garden. They're waterproof. So I can just, I can just really get into some stuff when I'm wearing these shoes. And no bag because I'm just not really planning on going anywhere, but yeah, this is the outfit of the day. Let me know your favorite as we go through this video. As always, I would love to know which outfit was your favorite. I'll be back with you tomorrow for outfit number two. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday. We are off to Soho Farmhouse today. The builders are in. So if you hear banging, if you hear screaming, that is what that sound is. <laughs> There we go. But I thought I would quickly show you my outfit before we head off. Very comfy, very chill. I have already got like a speck of makeup on my t-shirt. So let's just all ignore that. But the t-shirt is from Selective Femme. My skirt is from, I think it might be River Island or ASOS, but I'm not sure. I've had it for a little while. I think I got it last summer and I absolutely love it. So I will try and find it and link it or I'll link something similar if it's not available anymore. My bag is my new one, which you probably will have seen in my last video. If you haven't watched that, I will link that for you to go and watch. And my shoes are the Chanel sliders, which I've just had for years and I adore. And then I've got silver jewelry on today. I've got a hair on my lip. Oh no. It was, of course, a shrimpy hair. Anyway, my jewelry is all silver jewelry. Slightly more unusual for me, but I really wanted to match the jewelry to my sunglasses. I really want to get more wear of these. I love them. I've had them for a little while and I've just not really been wearing them so much, but I think they're so cool. So I've got my silver Etsy drop earrings in. My necklace is this tiny little diamond one on a silver chain from Monica Vinida. I love this. This one's great because you can shower with it on. Like when I wear it, I don't have to take it off. <laughs> my sunglasses are from YSL. I'm not sure if you can still get your hands on these they went out of stock but if i can find them i will link them h&m do some very similar ones though i think with a gold frame so i would definitely check that out and then my bracelets are a mixture of monica vinida and astrid and miyu ones and then also a hairband because i couldn't decide whether to put my hair up what do we think i definitely think it makes it like a bit more edgy but i blow dried my hair straight last night and i liked the volume it had damn this is why i can't work in this is why we need to move out. If you're wondering why there's been a lack of videos, this is partly the reason. It's just impossible. But anyway, that is my little outfit of the day. I'll check in with you when we get to Farmhouse and show you my outfit for the evening. Let's go. Hello everybody, we have made it to Farmhouse. We're just getting ready for dinner. As per usual, I am running late. Apparently I have a minute to film this outfit clip and I am yet to decide on my jewelry. Fortunately, they hold your table for 15 minutes. But I'm starving and I would say borderline, like mildly, ever so slightly intoxicated. So this is gonna be interesting. I have decided to switch my jewelry out. I was gonna go for silver today, but I've decided to go for gold. She says, I can't find my necklace. I've decided to go for gold because the sunnies that I want to wear are my Celine gold ones. And I just realized that the giant silver earrings just weren't really the vibe. So I'm going to wear my Edge of Ember Gaia collection necklace this evening and as per every single day because I'm obsessed with it. I've asked them to make it in real gold because I love it that much. Oh no, the chain is tangled. How do you, how do, you do this after you've had tequila? We're there. Independent woman over here. I didn't have to ask Ryan. We're all very relieved. I love this necklace. I would love for them to make it in real gold so I could keep it forever and ever because it's just so nice and Timeless. We go for the big, I, I know I just, I know it's the same all the time, but these Etsy earrings are just life. I love them. Lip combo of the evening is the Dior lip oil with the Huda Beauty pinky brown lip liner and then a little bit of Mac Stone as well. I'm gonna leave it there for jewelry. I can't be bothered to do rings. Like I don't, we don't have time for that. Sunnies. It's going to be these ones from 
Celine. They look good on the head and on the face. Love that. Picking the new baby out. It's just gonna go with everything. Prepare to be sick of her, okay? Let's try and do this without tripping over my shoes. This is the outfit of the evening. I'm wearing the mango vest. My trousers are my Zara linen ones. My sandals are my YSL brown sandals that I literally just wear basically every day. My bra is annoying me. I'm wearing a Skims bra underneath, but it literally comes up to like here. Very annoying. I love the length of this. I am going to get so much bra out of this. Obsessed. That is my outfit. I'm going to risk not taking a jacket. Have I gone mad? Maybe. Do you think I should take a jacket? It's only five minutes away, so that's a no. Let's go for dinner. See you later. Bye. Good evening. My gosh, I am so tired. I'm sorry I haven't checked in so far today, but I have spent the entire day in my Adenola green set, my little olive green one. We went to the gym this morning. We like had a lazy morning. Went and got some food, went to the gym. I can't remember what we did in between. Then we went to play tennis. And so I am so tired. I need to lay down but we're going for dinner. So my outfit for this evening is my little, where is this from? Is this from Mango? Yeah, my little Mango cami with the black lace trim. And then I've got my River Island trousers. I haven't tried this on yet, by the way. Sorry if there's a weird noise, Ryan is steaming. The man loves a creaseless shirt, you know? But yeah, I haven't tried this outfit on at all yet. So I'm just trying to have blind faith. I do have other options though, if this doesn't work, but I'm hoping it does. I basically wanted this to be the trouser version of the outfit that I wore this mango cami with in my last what I wore in a week. I wore it with black shorts and I really liked it, but I just, I'm really loving like a trouser, a high-waisted trouser at the moment. I mean, I love them all the time, but I'm really like, that is my like comfort blanket at the moment. I feel really, really good in like a pair of really like lightweight, loose trousers, but they don't have like a ton of material to them. These are like perfect. They're very slimming on the leg. They make me look quite tall as well, which I really like. So I think it's perfect for wearing with a cami on the top because camis are a little bit more baggy and generally if I'm wearing baggier things on my top half I like to streamline the bottom half so yeah we're gonna go with that I am gonna park my shoe choices because I'm not sure I have a couple of options it's not a ghost in the background it's Ryan but I know that I do want to wear these earrings which are gonna get so fingerprinty it's so fast we're gonna recreate the outfit from the last what I wore in a week do I already regret not getting the original versions of these with the hearts maybe I thought I would give them a go anyway see if I like them see how I get on with them I mean I don't know what do we think oh maybe it looks a bit like tin man my hope kind of was though that I would get my wear out of these get bored of them and then not want the original version from the mood board in the last what I wore in a week but I'm actually I'm not sure I think I think the earrings in the previous video so slow, they're not going to be on sale now but they were like a little bit more subtle and i think i probably would have enjoyed wearing them more actually i'm not sure on these so i have last night's earrings as a backup if this does not work but because the outfit's quite simple i thought like a statement silver earring could be quite fun but we will see i'm gonna try the rest of the outfit on now because this combo this dressing gown and earring combo feels a bit weird brush your fingers for me because this is i'm really going in blind with this outfit what do we think it's cute i'm not sure on the earrings what do you think yeah earrings uh Mm, yeah, if you um, it's a no. This is where everyone's watching this screaming because they're like, don't wear those. They might be saying, do wear those, I love them. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes my taste in earrings is a bit rogue though. I'm having a crisis, a confidence crisis because I know a lot of people didn't like my giant green Christmas tree turquoise earrings from the south of France. I loved the giant earrings, they were so funny. Sometimes I just don't really take things all that seriously but then people are mean <laughs> yeah this is the other earring option i'm covering myself by the way because this top is loose and i am yet to put my nipple covers on if we go for dinner normally we're like oh we're going for dinner like it's fun you know so i would wear the fun earrings but when you're at soho farmhouse i kind of feel a little bit like people just rock up especially if they're you can tell who lives locally the locals just rock up and they'll be wearing their like barber jackets and it's not like a snaz vibe then i just end up no matter what i wear i end up feeling overdressed because i don't wear a barber jacket I don't really own that stuff because i live by the sea i'm more likely to be wearing a kabul even then it's not mine it's ryan's oh oh i did it oh independent woman right we're going with the drop earrings monica vinader diamond necklace i think this is better the same bag as last night i feel like it adds a nice bit of texture i really like the nude because it's adding like a little bit of something different but then the black is tying it in 
with the rest of the outfit. I can get away with these now because I wouldn't have been able to wear these with the other earrings, but with these drop earrings, I can definitely wear these and the sun has come out, so that's unreal. And then shoes. Bearing in mind what I've just told you about always feeling overdressed here, no matter what I wear, I have a really low pair of heels, which let's ignore the bottom of them because these are the Topshop era when Topshop used the really sticky stickers that just never came off. I have these, I packed these because I thought that these, if I were home, in Brighton, I would wear these. These kinds of heels are perfect for like dinner in Brighton. I have these, very chill, very cash. The only thing I hate about these is they're not great for walking on stones because the stones get stuck in the bottom. However, kitten heels equally as impractical. So I'm gonna show you what I probably would wear and then pop into what I'm actually going to wear. Oh, these work perfect for like the trouser length as well. So just know this is what I would normally wear. This is what I think the outfit is at its best at, but I am going to wear the flats. This is the outfit for tonight's dinner. I'm very much looking forward to this. I really think that I have made an excellent decision because I've just realized that this has an elasticated waistband and I'm probably gonna eat vegan mac and cheese. Let's go do that. Hello everybody, it is Wednesday evening and we are just getting ready for dinner. Again, I actually didn't get to show you. I wore a daytime outfit today that wasn't active wear. I didn't get to show it to you but I basically just wore my Fendi swimsuit with my linen trousers and it was it was very cute. I didn't get the chance to show you and to be honest I'm feeling not great today. I'm feeling very bloaty. My stomach really hurts at the moment so I'm very grateful for tonight's outfit because it's very loose and it will hide my very bloated and sore stomach. Very happy with myself for choosing this outfit for tonight's dinner just popped on my usual bracelets my earrings i actually can't remember where these are from i'll try and find them or something similar i've got a raimi necklace on that is it for jewelry i'm gonna wear my celine sunnies i think they really add to the outfit and the actual overall clothing is really simple for shoes i'm gonna wear my ysl tan flats they're like the only shoe that goes with this what are we going to wear this bag i actually have my speedy with me and it goes nicer with the outfit but the big bag is very very unnecessary like really all we need is phone and keys here so i don't even really need to take the bag i like to have something to hold when i show you an outfit but let me can pretend this is this evening's outfit i'm hoping you can see because it's kind of dark in here it's very we're very shaded this set is from river island you will know that if you watch the last vlog it's just so loose flowy and nice and you just have a little tie back this is actually really great like i think if my weight were to fluctuate i could still wear this because it's got quite a lot of room to it and like a lot of stretch and the tie back just makes it it just gives it a lot of longevity in my wardrobe which i really like and it's like this police material like all kind of like ruched and wrinkly and the trousers are great in terms of that because with this type of material you can just Part the bottoms, cut it to your height, and they're so great. These are actually a little bit long still, but we're not going very fast, so it's fine. That is what I'm wearing this evening for our little sushi dinner. So excited for this. So, yeah, that is what I'm wearing today. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Hello, everybody. I'm hoping I won't get copyrighted for the builder's music upstairs, but I wanted to just show you my outfit of the day quickly, just for our drive back. I don't love this one, but it's very comfy. The elasticated waist on these trousers is giving, and the top is lovely and comfortable as well. Please excuse my hair, by the way. I've just fresh curled it and I don't want to brush it out yet. I have some stuff to shoot so I needed to put on some makeup and get ready really quick but my necklace is from Edge of Ember and we have the little mango knit which I really like tucked into these trousers actually and then my linen trousers which are from Zara, Chanel flats and then my Dior bag and that was just it for the outfit of the day very very comfortable really nice for the drive back very breathable because it's cloudy but like super warm and muggy today so just a perfect like relaxed outfit but still looks pulled together so yeah love this one but i will be in my pajamas very very soon after shooting my tiktoks so that is going to be it for me today i'll see you guys tomorrow happy friday i haven't shown you an outfit yet today but wow why are we so bright Ooh. but we are about to go out to a friend's barbecue so i thought i would show you this evening's outfit some of you may have seen this before because i've worn it i think here and there on instagram i am obsessed with this dress i love it so much it's the perfect like this dress can do everything it's more you can wear it more casually you could wear it with trainers if you really wanted to or you can really really dress it up it's just honestly 
it's lovely and this comes in a range of colors as well if you don't want an ivory but you'd like to wear this to like a friend's wedding this comes in so many colors there's a lilac there's a blue would highly highly recommend this especially if you're like me i have quite wide hips i think this actually in my head this shouldn't work because it's quite a straight dress when you look at it but when you put it on it just really kind of hugs your silhouette and it's really lovely and i think my body suits more minimal cuts and shapes and things like that it suits less material and just really simple minimalistic styles that's generally what i find the most flattering yeah it just doesn't feel like it never feels faffy but it just always feels like it just always looks nice and i feel good in this kind of thing so yeah this is the dress it's from reformation it's just stunning i love it so much so completely strapless it just is like fully elasticated around the top and really well elasticated as well like it really just sticks it doesn't slip down i'm a big fan of this i had it with my bottega slides today but i wore it at victoria's birthday little thingy in july and i wore it with my fendi slides as well which does make it a bit more like cool equally looks lovely with my ysl sandals could look really nice with trainers as well, but I can wear it with like a full on heel if I wanna make this super glam. I've just gone quite relaxed today with the quilted slides and then I've popped on this Monica Vinader necklace, which is part like pearl, part gold. And it just feels a bit like vacation-y and a bit like relaxed. A really simple, small hoop earring because I didn't want to, I didn't want this to feel like too much. And then an Astrid and Miu green ring just for like the most minimal pop of color that there ever was but yeah this is a big favorite of mine at the moment i'm going to be taking this on my next holiday with me as well oh i also wore this for ryan's birthday as well and yeah wore this with a heel like a bottega dupe the mules i'll try and find a photo the photos from that evening are quite embarrassing so i'll just try and find something i've worn this quite a lot for various people's birthdays and i'm a big fan of it it just it's the most non-faff but lovely dress ever so yeah wearing this again getting my wear out of it because obviously reformation stuff is a little bit more expensive but i think it's so worth it I'm resisting buying it in other colors. That is the way for me to kill my love for something is to then buy it in other colors. Like it's just, when you have that one thing and you ha only have one of it and it's really special, that is the way to like love it and rewear it so, so much. So yeah, that is my outfit of the day. Oh, you can wear, I wear the Skims like bando mesh bra with this normally. I've just thrown this on without a bra on just to show you, but I am gonna pop my Skims mesh bra on as well just to make it super, like it's got really good coverage. I have very dark nips, so if you can't really fully see them, you know it's got good coverage, but I like to wear the bandeau bra just to make sure and just to hold everything in place. But yeah, that is my outfit. Oh, what, what, what bag am I wearing? Hang on. Of course we love the new baby, but I adore this YSL bag with this. It's just, again, really, really simple. It kind of adds a little bit of like, I feel like this is like a fun 90s bag like i always really associate this with like america in the 90s for some reason like very clueless legally blonde that kind of vibe so i really like that with this because this dress feels quite mature so i just like to add things that are like kind of just occasionally add a bit of fun to it just to bring it back and then again with like the fun shape bringing it back i really like wearing my celine triumph sunglasses with this you could wear the gold frame ones as well but yeah i just really like this kind of very fun oval shape with the look hello everybody it is sunday i am loving today's outfit i've got the knitted set on from mango it's hiding the fact that i just ate a bagel for breakfast and i'm now very bloated beautifully so obsessed and the length on the bottom of these isn't it's not great but it's also not the worst i think if i wore these with my fendi sliders like they're quite chunky on the bottom and any trouser i wear tends to just kind of sit on top i actually think the length would be perfect even if they didn't sit on the top like i think it would just add the exact amount of height that i need but for now because i'm just around the house packing today i have got my YSL sandals on. Packing up bits to temporarily move house, so you will see that in the next video. But yeah, really loving this. This is so nice and comfy. I'm just, I would highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a nice new set to take you from summer into autumn. I'm wearing it with these giant earrings, which I will try and link if they are still available, because I know they bring them back every so often. These are basically a dupe of a slightly more expensive version, so I'll try and link both if either are available. I don't know if they 
go. I'm like kind of, I kind of love it with this because it's so simple and so like minimalist that I actually think like a giant earring is really cute. And especially because my hair is down, you only get flashes of it. Or maybe it would work better if my hair was in like a slick bun. I'm not sure. But I have my uh, Javemba necklace on as always and then no rings today because I'm just packing a lot and yeah, just trying to keep everything very minimal, trying to not like put too much pressure on my hands and stuff like that. I find packing and doing anything intricate with my hand with rings on a bit much. But yeah, that is today's outfit of the day. I will probably wear it with these sunnies. I really like the gold Celine sunnies with this, I think it's really cute. Also don't ask where my bar stools have been the past couple of days. I actually don't wanna tell you what I use them for because it's kind of embarrassing. Basically I just have too much washing. So they're in my garden. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, those are my chosen sunnies. Yeah, that is Sunday's outfit. What do we prefer? Do we prefer this as a set or do we prefer this with the linen trousers? Let me know. Hello everybody. It has been a while since I last saw you. We have been moving. There has been Adenola active wear, which if you want to see, you will just see it in the next vlog and it will all be linked. But yeah, we haven't really been like looking put together, but I've had a particularly bad day today. And whilst we're still in the process of like unpacking and things like that, I was like, I need to pull today back around. We need a reframe. I need to look nice today. So it's really hot. So I haven't actually had a chance to wear my jumpers, cardigan and the knit that I wanted to show you in this vlog that you will have seen earlier. I'm hoping I might get a chance to show you them tomorrow because it is meant to be like, the weather's not meant to be as good. So hopefully it won't be as roasty toasty as it is right now. So I've just thrown something on that I didn't really intend on showing you in this video, but this has just arrived. It's from House of CB. Also, please ignore the mirror <laughs> situation. This mirror is not my this is one of Ryan's and it's literally like I feel like when I touch it it's just gonna like fall apart it is so thin and so flimsy I'm waiting for my mirror to be delivered we need a man with a van to move it so yeah we're gonna be working with this very slim tiny little one but hopefully big mirror incoming soon but anyway I'm wearing this dress from House of CB and you might recognize this one because I actually do have it in yellow I broke my rule which I do break I would say a bit too frequently, but I broke my rule of not buying the same thing in a different color. However, I am gonna argue this one, and this is my justification. I don't get enough wear out of the yellow one. I love it, and I love wearing it on vacays and everything, but when I'm home, I don't get enough wear out of it because I almost feel like I'm cosplaying like a cartoon version of myself when I wear it, but this navy one is actually really lovely and just very appropriate for me for day. If they did this in black, I don't believe they do, but if they did this in black, I also would have loved it in black as well because that would have been very appropriate for me. I think they do do it in a white, but it didn't see me getting as much wear out of it as I do the navy. I really, really like the navy and it feels like a little bit smart and I can kind of get away with it whether it's sunny or not, whereas the white and the yellow, it, you kind of have to have a really nice weather day to be wearing it, whereas I feel like I could get away with this one. If it's just warm, but like muggy, it just is a nice dress. But also I could get away with this for weddings. So it's just kind of like one of those good things to have in your wardrobe. It's got a very kind of like fitted body, ruching on the chest and a really nice kind of like chunky strap, which I really like. I do really like this kind of like shape on the top half of my body. And then it just goes into a longer kind of midi skirt. If you're taller, you'll probably get a little bit more leg showing. I get like nothing. But yeah, I've just paired it with my Chanel sliders. It goes with a range of my shoes. Like there's no pair of shoe that this doesn't go with, but I've gone with the black today because I wanted to wear this bag. I thought this worked really beautifully with the dress because it's got a little bit of black, a little bit of nude, and it just tied everything in nicely. We've got the gold, hardware on it and I was wearing gold jewelry today and I really didn't want to deviate from wearing gold jewelry so this works really nicely as well. And I've just popped my hair in this little low bun just to keep cool because it is so so warm today and yeah it's just a really nice relaxed but pulled together 
little look. I'm very, very happy with it. So this is my outfit of the day. And I will hopefully be back with you tomorrow to show you my knitwear. <laughs> Even if it is just for show, I desperately want to show you the two knits that I got. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone. So today's outfit today is a bit of a weird one. I actually have two options. Basically I have either of the H&M jumpers as options. So I'm going to try both on with this outfit and see how I feel. But I think this one is a really nice one for today with the stripy jumper just because it's really chill and really easy. I'll show you what it looks like on in a second. I've just got this Zara little tank top on with a pair of black lily silk shorts. They're really cute, elasticated, so super comfortable. And I love the length of these. If you're a shorter girl, you're going to die for these. They're so good. And if you're taller because they're elasticated, you can just wear them lower down. But I like that they just sit like super high waisted. I've got my Chanel flats on with this. I need to pick a bag actually. I'm gonna need a big one because I'm gonna go and do a little shop. But yeah, let me show you the jumper on. This is the knit on, just a really super cute, easy one. I love how wide the sleeves are and I really like the length of it as well. It's not too long to the point where we completely lose the shorts. I got a size small in this and I think for me that's like perfect size. I wouldn't want it any tighter or more fitted and I wouldn't really want it more oversized either. So super happy with this, but I'll show you what the black cardigan looks like on. I love it, it's just today I'm chilling and like not doing anything crazy so the other one looks a little bit smarter and i think this is just more appropriate and this is it with the cardigan i actually love this but it just looks a bit too smart so i'm not gonna wear it today but you will definitely see me wearing this very very soon it's just so sweet i'll show you what it looks like done up as well if i can do that one-handed as you know i love this for the fact that it just has like a single row of buttons it just makes it a bit more casual my other jacket just looks a bit more formal and the length and the whole fit and structure is different as well yeah chuffed to bits with this one i just love it i love it with the shorts as well and just my flats it just makes for a really nice really sweet girly outfit but like it's not too much you know it's just just perfect a really nice one for me as well because in brighton like everyone is so relaxed and this is that perfect kind of all together but relaxed outfit so I, d I don't feel like I'll stand out too much wearing this. This outfit will go so nicely with so many of my bags as well but I'm particularly excited to wear my cardigan with this bag in particular. I just think they suit each other really well. It's so cute. It has gone so dark. I'm really glad that I'm wearing my like rubbery Chanel shoes today because I'm probably gonna get rained on slightly. But I just wanted to say I'm actually going to do like 30 days of outfits on my TikTok if you want to go and follow me on there. I might put them on shorts as well if you guys would like them on here. Let me know but if you want more outfit inspo there will be more over there or you can check out shorts whatever I decide to do but do let me know if you want them on shorts. I don't really want to like bombard you guys. Maybe I'll put like my favorites or something like that. I don't know. Let me know if you would like to see them on here or if you're happy to go over to TikTok but yeah if you want more outfit inspo it will be there that is where i'm gonna leave you guys for this week i really hope you've enjoyed this what i wore in a week and i will be back with a new one hopefully very very soon i'm already working on the next one so super excited to share that with you like i said let me know which outfit was your favorite and i will see you guys again very very soon love you bye